Hey guys, I'm Paul the Motor Guy. Now in this video, I'm going to cover how to back into a parking space and I'm going to cover how to back your motorcycle uphill in the event that you pull forward in a parking space that has a downhill grade. So hang tight. The first thing you want to do is pick out which parking space you want to back into. Now once you pick out that space, you want to make a 90 degree turn facing away from that parking space. Now, as you make your 90 degree turn, you want to stay in the friction zone. By being in the friction zone it does two things. It helps control your speed and it keeps power to the rear wheel, which keeps the motorcycle from wanting to fall over as you're making your turn. The second thing I recommend is using your rear brake instead of your front brake as you're making your turn. By using the rear brake, it lengthens the motorcycle, which makes it more stable. Now, you want to control your speed by dragging the rear brake as you're making your turn and you want to continue to press on the rear brake until you stop. Now by you controlling your speed, it will give you more time to get the motorcycle upright and the handlebar square before you make your stop. Now the biggest problem with using the front brake is that if you're too heavy on the front brake, it causes the force to compress and then rebound. And a lot of times when the forks rebound, it causes the motorcycles to lean to one side or the other. Now this is one of the main causes for riders dropping the motorcycles when they're stopping. Now it's also important that you keep your head and eyes up and that you turn your head early to look where you want to go. As you're backing into your parking space, you don't want to make big handlebar adjustments, especially if you're backing in next to a bike that's in the same parking space, like at a motorcycle rally. If you make big adjustments with the handlebars, it will get the motorcycle out of position very easily. So let me show you what that looks like. So if you have to make any adjustments, you want to use small handlebar inputs like in this next video. Now I'm going to demonstrate back into a parking space using the things I've mentioned. I got some equipment. I'm going to find the spot that I want. Get my 90 degree turning. I'm going to bag it up. Remember, use small handlebar moves if you need to, especially if you're bagging up next to another bike where you have to be in a specific area. Use small movements. Like that there. Now, also, another thing you want to think about is you don't want to back all the way into the spot because if this car is parked on, either, on both sides of you, when the cars are coming down looking for a parking space, you're hidden. And they're going to think it's empty space, and they may pull in there, and, and it's possible they can strike your, your, your bike. Uh, so you want to stop, I normally stop up here. That way as cars are looking for spaces, they see my bike right away, they keep on going. Now what do you do if you end up pulling forward into a parking space that has a downhill grade and you have to back your motorcycle uphill to get out? Now this is very easy for this to happen if you don't pay attention when you're pulling into the parking space. So let's head outside and I'll show you what you need to do. All right, so I couldn't find a parking space that met the needs to demonstrate this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this incline here uh, on this hill to show you the technique. All right, so this is going to simulate you pull into a parking space and then all of a sudden you're like, man, this is a downhill grade. Now, the only way to get out of the space is you have to back up out of it. And the way Luck has it, you don't have anybody around to help you push the bike up. So first, I'm going to talk you through the technique, and then I'm going to show it to you. Now, I know at least for this Harley that I'm riding right here for the Road King, if I have it in first gear and the clutch is disengaged, it's still hard for me to roll the bike backwards. It's a lot easier for having it in neutral. So there may be something you want to think about when you're doing this is having your bike in neutral. Now, as far as the technique, you want to hold the front brake lever and you want to violently rock the bike forward, compressing the front forks. And then when the front forks rebound, you want to release the front brake, allowing the bike to roll backwards. And then you want to grab the front brake again to keep you from rolling forward. Now, you want to repeat this over and over again until you get enough space to get either out of this parking spot or enough room where you can do a nine degree turn to get out of the parking spot. Now, depending on how short your legs are, how heavy your bike is, and also your footwear you have, it could make it a little more difficult. Now here in Texas, I see a lot of riders riding with cowboy boots. 
Now you know that's a flatter sole, so it may be a little slippery when you start trying to do this technique. So now I'm gonna get on the bike here and I'm gonna demonstrate this for you. Now I'm gonna show you also that I'm gonna try, to, it's in neutral, but I'm gonna to try to just uh, roll the bike uh, backwards without using the technique. And you see that it's pretty, see I'm having a pretty hard time rolling the bike back, uh, not using this technique, all right? So now I'm gonna use the technique. So it's already in neutral, but still I like to hold the clutch in way because that's just, that's just how my mind is set. So I'm gonna have the front brake engaged. I'm gonna rock it forward, release the brake, rock it back. And just repeat this over and over again. You want to get as much, much as you can when you're rolling backwards. This is a fairly steep hill, as you can tell. You want to just keep doing that until you get out of the space uh, that you're in. Now, this is a pretty big hill. It's pretty steep there, so I'm not going to go any further back than that. But I think you get the point. Although I know this video was pretty simple, I hope it was helpful. Now, let me know in the comment section below if you've ever had to back your motorcycle uphill. Now, until next time, you got it. Practice, practice practice and ride safe.